Hi everyone, this is Caroline with Logan's Crafty Mama. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a picture frame using the Storybook Cricut cartridge and a punch that I have, but you can also use George and Basic Shapes or Plant and School Book if you have either one of those. So this is probably going to be a two-part video, so let's get started. Okay, for this project, you're going to need paper. I'm doing it with two colors, which is a brown and a blue. Um, I recommend getting three to four sheets of it. This is eight and a half by 11. So you need that. You need some glitter. This is the glitter I got around Black Friday. I'm using the blue and the brown. You're going to need something to keep your mess, glitter mess, so that tray. I'm using the Storybook Cricut cartridge. I'm also using the one and three quarter punch, but if you don't have this, you can do one and three quarters circles. I want to say Storybook has a circle, but I'm not sure. You're also going to need something to glitter your circles with. And instead of using your Zig Two Way glue pen, which you can use this if you need it, looks like that, I'm going to show you how to use the Xyron 5 inch to do that. And you're also going to need a picture frame. I'm using this one. Looks like this. You can get it at Walmart for $3. It does have a mat, but I took it out. And I'm going to show you how to measure this. Just because it says it may be an eight and a half by 11 and you use that size paper, it's not going to fit. I tried it. So I'm going to show you a secret. Okay, this is the part that comes out of your um, frame. I'm taking my eight and a half by 11 and then I take it from corner and put it over here and then down there and once you know it's where you want it and it will move so just take your pencil and draw a line where you need to cut it and then all you have to do is take a paper cutter where you drew your line, cut it that way, and that way, and that way you know since that white piece of paper went in your frame, this brown piece should go in there. So now I'm going to show you how to cut all your items out and then we'll put it together. Okay, since I'm doing the 8.5, well it's not 8.5 by 11 because I cut it down, it's 8 by 10. You're going to need 7 of each color to make 14 circles. So I'm using the hole puncher. You can get these at Michael's, AC Moore. I know Stampin' Up sells it, that's where I got mine. This is 1 and 3 quarters. You can also do it if you have the expression. If you have the baby bug, you're just going to have to go up a size or down a size because I know they don't do that kind of sizes. So I'm only going to do just a few just to show you how to do it. So you're going to do seven of one color and then seven of another color. Like that. Okay, for the next part, we're going to make the um, green triangle. I'm going to be using blue paper with the storybook Cricut cartridge. If you turn to page 33, you're going to hit your accent blackout. Then you're going to hit shift and then hit F. And that's going to give you that triangle right there. If you're doing the 8x10 frame like I am, you're going to put that at 7 inches and hit cut. Okay, now we're going to make this scalloped oval using the brown paper. You're going to leave it on your accent blackout. You're going to turn to page 49, which is the V. You're going to drop it down to 6 inches. And you're still going to hit shift and hit your V. And then it should give you a scallop oval over there. And hit cut. For this one, I'm going to make the initial. You're going to have to play around with it on your letter because depending on your last name, it may be bigger, it may be little, but I'm going to do a four and a half, and I'm going to take off the accent blackout and hit the fancy corner and the L. So that's on page 39 if you're doing an L. And there's plenty of different ones to choose from, so I'm going to do this fancy looking one. 
Looks like that, and I'm going to hit cut. Okay, for this I'm going to stick these circles in this machine. These are the one and three quarter circles. So I've learned just to put two in at a time, and then turn it, and then do some more. If you put them right behind each other, they don't get all stickied up, and you need them really sticky to get your glue on them. So slide them in there, turn it. Once you know they're out, go ahead and put two more in, turn it, and do this until you get all of them done. And this is what it looks like once you've done all your circles and pulled them off. And then what I'm going to do is pull it off, and it's sticky. You can see that. And then I take my tweezers, and on the very tip, don't go crazy in the middle because then you're going to have to put more glitter on it. So just put it on the tip and then take your um, glitter that matches or however you're doing it and then just shake it over like that. If you're catching it like I am, it doesn't matter how much you use. Shake it like that and then tap the back and then you get that. And then when you pull that off, sometimes like you can see that right there where I just pulled that off. If you just dip it back in your ribbon, I mean in your glitter, and shake it, it looks like that. So I'll show you one more in case you didn't get that. Stick your tweezers on. Don't, I don't dip it back in there because sometimes there's a different color that didn't get out really well and then it sticks to your circle. And you may have a blue and brown circle instead of just a brown. Tap it, peel it off, and dip it back in. And do that to all 14 of them. That's what they look like when you got them glittered. And you're going to put them on that same way, but I'm going to show you how I just run some tape over the back of one. And then you just put them on the same spot. So what I do is the paper that I ran through the Xyron, I take the glitter side, put it down so it don't stick to everything. Just use my Tombow adhesive because my ATG gun's too big. And I just tape like crazy over the back of it. And it looks like that. Like that. And then just tape that down and do that to the rest of it. And then what I did was I took this blue one and I ran it through the same Zyron machine and I took the Martha Stewart crystal fine, glit crystal fine glitter and I didn't pour it I kind of shook it like that and then I ran this one through the same Zyron machine and I mixed the brown and that same glitter and I did it the same way and then I took my ATG gun and glued the back of this and went ahead and stuck it down and then you take your ATG gun, Tombow adhesive, whatever you may have, and run some more adhesive along the back of it. If you can tell, I just changed out my tape gun so it runs a lot smoother. And if you do use this, when you go to stick it down to that paper, it's going to be fun. So, And then what you're going to do is attach that rectangle that you cut oh and I took my corner rounder and I cut the edges right there on the end and then what you're going to do is attach that to your to your paper and then for the very end just put your initial on the top of that oval wherever you want it stay tuned and I'll show you the final product and this is your final product if you will go to my fan page at Logan's Crafty Mama at Facebook I think you'll see another one that I've made that's using black white and silver and I've tied a bow to the top of it, which makes it really pretty. So if I find some brown ribbon, I may do that. But thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.